I'm back with another Team Good Vibes Business Builder Spotlight. And today I'm super excited because I have my dear friend and Crossline sister and gold retreat partner in crime yes. for all the sales, Dory Doyle. <laughs> Dory is an amazing gold rank leader from Richmond, Virginia. She started her Young Living journey in 2014. And you guys, it has been a pretty amazing journey. Not only has she led an amazing team to gold rank, but she has also written some really great books and resources to help Team YL um, learn how to bring new people into the Young Living lifestyle and support them once they're in, and then also learn the Young Living business. Dory, thank you for being here. Oh my gosh, Melissa, thank you so much for asking me. I am so honored. I'm really excited that you're here because I feel like we've been on this journey for a little while together. Yes. And what is it, two or three years? Mm -hmm. It's been about three okay. years since that mastermind. Yeah. And we have really stayed connected. We were in a mastermind with, with a group of girls that we've really kind of linked arms and have stayed connected with. And I have to say that you and the rest of those girls have been 100% um, a part of my growth and journey to platinum. Mm -hmm. And the learning that has taken place and, and everything that you girls have spoken into me and to my team, to our team has just been incredible. So I want to thank you for that so, so much. Oh my gosh. Well, you and your, your positivity and your spirit has just been um, at times when I have the biggest doubt in myself and my capabilities, you just, you pop up in our message thread and you have amazing words of wisdom and it's just that fuel to move forward. So I have to thank you so much. I love it. See, oh, it's, so it's, much love. it's mutual respect and friendship and I appreciate it so much. Me too. Dory, you have had quite a journey through gold rank. And you, when we talked earlier, you really said something that hit home to my heart. And I really think it's going to impact a lot of people to hear your words about your, your journey. Would you yes. kind of elaborate on that a little bit? Absolutely. Um, so I joined in August, 2014 and I had 10 month old twins at the time. Um, and this was my outlet. Now I joined for the product. I did not want the business. I feel like there are so many stories that are similar to mine, but I got the stuff. I fell in love with it and I ran with it. And uh, let's see. So about 14 months after I got my kit, I had ranked to silver. I got it for three months and then backtracked for nine months. Um, and then it, so it took me basically another full year to get silver again. Um, and then after that, it took me another long time to get to gold. Might have, I don't know how long it was to get to gold. Um, I got gold on and off. I got it long enough. I earned gold retreat. But as of right now, I've actually not ranked gold for 12 months, I think at this point. Um, I am currently a silver. And I yet... Even that being said, I still call myself a gold. I don't think that it is a lie because it is how I hold myself. It's how I see myself. I've earned the rank. I've earned the retreat. Um, I earned it fair and square, but circumstance happens. Um, whether it's within a team or whether it's in your personal life, it happens. And I can't get upset about that. I can't get angry about that. All I can do is the things that I know are good for my business. I know that my business and the people that I have relationships with within my organization, they are stronger than they ever have been. And the rank just, you know, on my virtual office just hasn't caught up to what I know my team is and the strength that my team has. So I just, I think that it's really important that we know 
that a rank is just a rank. Um, the backtrack is very normal. It is so normal and people don't talk about it. I think because we get really nervous and especially me having written the books that I've written as a business building tool, it's hard to admit, hey, I've even backtracked, but I do think that it's something that should be talked about and should be said, okay, yeah, that's where I am right now, but what are we gonna do about it? How are we going to do the steps to keep going and to not retreat in fear, doubt, um, shame? Wow, that's really, really powerful, Dory. And you're absolutely right. It is way more normal to fall back in rank than it is to plunge forward really, mm -hmm. really quickly. But I think that sometimes we, we shine the light on the people who do it very quickly and then they become the example that everyone feels like they have to live up to. Right, right. I mean, we, we see the unicorns and there's nothing wrong with a unicorn. I love a unicorn story. It is so cool. And really, when we're in the right headspace, those unicorn stories are so inspiring. And there was a time that I thought I was a unicorn too. And there's nothing wrong with it. Like that's great self-belief, but also when that wasn't my reality, I had to learn to be okay with that. And I'm not saying that it was easy. And there were many days that I was just like, oh, I'm done, I'm done, I'm, I can't, I can't, I'm over it. Um, but no, we, we have to understand that it's okay to not be a unicorn. There's so many more that are not. I mean, oh my goodness, Danette Goodyear, how long did it take her to reach diamond, crown diamond status? It's amazing. Yeah. She's still doing it. Yep, and our own Connie McDaniel, 18 years. So, but is she complaining about it? I don't think so. <laughs> She's not complaining about it. I love it. It's, it's the only thing that can, can stop our growth is if we quit. Exactly. That's it. That's it. And along, this, the long, along the steps, one thing that I've learned is I can look at the number of people that I have on my team or the number of people on Essential Rewards and to be totally honest, my ER number right now is amazing because I do have people that are dropping off, but the people that are staying on are all on ER, so my percentage is great. <laughs> but <laughs> I always have to look at the positive there. Yeah. But what is so cool is I look at the number of people. I look at like how many actual lies have I changed by me opening my mouth that very first day and the ripple effect that's happened. And by continuing to open my mouth, because my business would not grow if I just stopped and I just kept supporting the people that were there. I have to keep enrolling. Mm -hmm. So when I open my mouth, that changes someone's life, life. And that changes their family's lives. Mm -hmm. So I look at every single person as, okay, this is why I'm doing it. I love it. Sometimes people can have a real love for Young Living and they're just unsure or maybe they don't feel confident in sharing and we've always been told that the number one way to learn and to duplicate is through tools and so i'd really love for you to talk a little bit about the tools that you have created not only for your own team but for all of us and i think it's going to be really cool because I bet you there's going to be a lot of people who are going to all of a sudden start fangirling because they love your book and they use it. And now they're just going to realize that you are the author. Oh my gosh. Well, thanks for making me blush here. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you are so sweet. Um, yeah. So it started with oil share repeat because it was actually a website I had created for my team, but because it was a website, I could see who was logging on and it was, no one, like no one was looking at the resource. And so I was asking my leaders, I said, Hey, we have all this stuff. And they're like, yeah, we just, we're not going to websites. And I said, if I put it down in written form, would you look at it? They were like, yeah, totally. I was like, okay, great. Here we go. And so I compiled everything into what has become oil share repeat. And the idea is that we don't have to know the compensation plan when we get started. We don't have to have all the answers. We don't have to have the most amazing social media accounts. We have to have a love of the product. We have to open our mouth and talk about it. And then we have to find something, some way to do it over again. 
and that's the IPAs. So that is the process. It is just as simple. I got my kit and that very first day I shared. I knew nothing, but I had a love of the smells and I shared. And then of course I started loving what the oils did and then I shared. And I think that, that taking the pressure off of us as sharers is really important. Now, my business right now looks totally different than it did in August in 2014 because of what I know and because of what I've built. I mean, I'm sitting in a studio space where I meet and have consultations and things. There's no way that I would have done that on day one. And there's no way that everyone needs to do it. It's how I've chosen my path in my business. Um, but the, the what we need to do is just talk, just talk about our experiences. And so that's the basis of oil share repeat. And it comes at it looking at all different color personalities. So if you look at the, sorry, if you look at the colors, it's all four of those personalities. If you look at, look at the Enneagrams, which I'm still a student in that, it's all of those different numbers as well. Um, it talks to everyone. And and then from there, so I did this with Nicole Perez. She wrote Propel. So if you've heard of Propel, I consider that the encyclopedia of all business tools. So like if I need to figure out how to teach a workshop or if I need to figure out like, you know, how do I ap approach this situation? I look in Propel. And then Oilshare Repeat is my day to day. Here's how I run my daily business. And then from there, we have a couple of supplemental things. We have a brochure that we use as our 101 because our idea is you don't have to know everything on day one. Here's something that you can lead people through, get them on essential rewards, get them loving the product. Uh, so we have a brochure for that. We have a, a brochure that I tuck into all of the welcome books, which we use the essentials, which is something else that we wrote. That was my baby. That was my baby that I worked for three years on, that I had wanted to do prior to oil share repeat, but it just wasn't happening yet. Um, so yeah, so we have this brochure that teaches the basics of how to tell a story, because that's the basics of starting your business. And then of course, oil share repeat, the essentials, and propel, um, and and that's kind of how the whole package fits together. And um, it's been. It's been fun. It's, I love Young Living because it gives me that creative outlet, but it also enhances my business. Nothing that we've created was just to create something. It is because there was a need and no one else in Team Young Living had created it so far. It's like, um, it's like Gary Young creating oils for a purpose. So you yeah. created those tools for a purpose and we all get to benefit from it. And we, yeah. we thank you so much. Now, along with that, you also have some tools on your website. So like downloadable type things even. Yes. So that's inspiredsharing.com. Inspiredsharing.com. And that's where all of the books are sold. That's where uh, we have the downloadables. Several of them are free. Um, and some, several of them go along with the book. So it's like a couple dollars. Mm -hmm. um, but some, and some of them, just because our books are in workbook form, you fill it out once, but you're going to need it to do it again. So, you know, if there's a sheet that you want to use for meeting notes, that's on there. If you want to have one that's like a prospect list, that's an option as well. Because I think that, you know, I have my prospect list right here for Dream 500, mm -hmm. but that's not going to be good in two months. So I'm going to need a new prospect list. So it gives us those options. Um, so yeah, so there's a whole bunch of project broadcast. If people aren't using project broadcast, all of our project broadcasts also have the script as a download. So you can take that and put that into whatever texting platform you want to use. So it's, you know, we, these are all things that we wanted. We were making them for our teams and then we just put them as team young living as well. I love the idea of the project broadcast bundle that goes along with we'll share repeat, right? Yep. Yeah, just you can send the book, pop it right in the mail with a nice welcome note, and then mm -hmm. set them up with a bundle. And there, there she goes. I what I love the most about it is that you're giving us tools to work smarter and not harder. And that's the thing. And 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 I want to make sure that people understand the way that I run my business may not be Melissa how you run your business or how Sally runs her business. Mm -hmm. The tools that that I use can be made applicable to any person. 
And then sometimes they're not right for a person. So just don't use them, find something else. But um, there's a I lot of people. That. That them. I haven't found that. I, I've got them scattered around. I keep them very, very <laughs> close. Yes. I mean, here I am. It's, it's been two and a half years since I wrote Oil Share Repeat. Is that right? Is that right? Yeah, I guess it is. Is that um, really Yeah, it's, yes. And so I'm maybe, no, maybe just shy, just over two years since we published it. I still use it every single day. Like my copy is so worn out that I have had, I think two or three other copies. And that's what I use. That is my IPA list. That is my beginning of the month list. That is my end of the month list. That's how I teach my classes. That's everything is right there. Well, I have to tell you that when we asked uh, leaders which, uh, what was their favorite business tool to use, I did hear oil share repeat several times. So um, I'm so proud of you. I'm glad to, I feel like I, I'm kind of like name dropping you. Like I know Dory Doyle. She wrote, she wrote oil share repeat and the essentials. Oh, and a new kids book coming out. Yes, yes. yes. Do I, I, I talk about that? Hold on. <laughs> yeah. yeah so, is, so do you want to know this, the history of this? I don't know how much time we yes, have. Yes, no, I want to know. So the history of this is that we were driving, we were on gold retreat. We, we flew into Seattle, spent a day with friends there drove across the state to get to Spokane. And while we're driving, I said, Tim, I got a picture book in my head. And he's like, what? He, Cause we had just published oil share repeat at the time. And we were also working on the essentials. <laughs> and I said, Nope, I got it. And I pulled out my computer and I started writing. And that was the start of this. What's that smell mommy? That's and incredible. <laughs> I know. And so my goal of this book, is I wanted it to be something that has no mention of Young Living in there because I want us as leaders to be able to tell our Young Living story as a part of it. So Young Living members are gonna look at this picture of the farm and hear the words, hey, one thing that we should remember, it's true, not all oils are equal, it matters how they grew. Not all farms take care and treat plants as they should and without healthy plants, the oil won't be good. No mention of Young Living, but can we tell the story of visiting the farms and seeing the process and what we do in Seed to Seal? Yes. So that's the point of this book is that it's an opportunity to share what we know, tell our story as a part of it, and also introduce oils into more homes. That's going to be a really fun tool to use. I know lots of mamas who are going to be very excited about that. And I can't wait to get my copy. Um, I think it's getting shipped today for you. Really? I think I think so. I think so. Yeah. So when when can we expect to see that? Is it live? It's live, yes. You uh -huh. can go on inspiredsharing.com and order them. I think it's still marked as pre-order because the hardcovers, we still are waiting for that last, you know, grouping of the hardcovers to come in. But no, it's, it's orderable. That's amazing. Perfect. Yeah. Yes. I'm excited. So, I, I, the way that I recommend using this book is use it as your teaching tool. Like use it for your kid. Yes, it's a picture book. Your kids will love it and enjoy it. And the language is, is fun for them. My kids are six and they read the whole thing as soon as it came in. But use it to teach your members. Use it to teach your friends that are not oily. Just use it to teach and tell your story. I love it. It's perfect. Yeah. It's awesome. <laughs> So I got one more question for you before we leave. Yes. Um, I want to know what's your next Young Living goal and how is that going to change your life when you achieve it? Um, my goal is one that is not quantifiable. And, okay. and my short-term goal is to make it quantifiable. But for me, it is no fear because I, I know the steps I need to take. I know what I need to do. And sometimes fear and doubt still creeps in for me. And so for me, it's that motto of just do it. Just five, four, three, two, one, go. 
I love it. Yes. So I know that um, fear is fear is leaving right now. It's gone. It, it is, is gone, gone forever. It is and gone. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm, I'm excited for our journey together. And I'm, again, I feel so blessed that I get to do this in sisterhood with you. Oh. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day for our team and to pour into us. We just appreciate you so much. And I cannot wait to see all the messages I'm going to get um, when I share this video and everyone's like, oh my gosh, yay, the author. Because it's going to be oh. amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much. I, um, it's so wonderful that Young Living provides us these opportunities that it is, you know, so many businesses, you look at your competition as competition and in Young Living, sure, I could call you my competition or I could call you my sister. And I love that this is a, a family that Young Living is a family. And here, you know, before we recorded, Chris walked in all sweaty and, you know, we have this joke, where's the sale? And of course, today <laughs> there's a sale going on. But, you know, we just, I love that our families are families. You know, they're all families together. And so um, if you don't, I, I guess my final message for people is go find a crossline person, go find crossline people, connect connect and let them raise you up. I love it. Thank you, Dory. Yeah.